Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of FTB Departed. And in today's episode, we are going to be working on getting some decent tools. Uh, last episode, we basically came to find out that, uh, we basically came to find that all of our tools that we lost in the nether are gone for good because our skeleton disappeared into the lava and uh, was damaged beyond repair and everything was destroyed. Now, I did have a live stream on Saturday and there is an archived version of, of it for those of you that missed it. There's a link in the video description. Uh, and I got myself this beautiful sapphire cutlass, which is quite an upgrade from what I had. I also managed to get myself some of my basic tools back and I got myself a gold banded greatwood wand, which is a much better wand than what I had. It's actually a very, very good wand. So what we want to be doing in this episode is I really would like to get a upgraded hammer and probably normal up upgraded uh, other tools as well. I think it's time that we, uh, we get geared out. I should also mention um, I was leaning towards Thaumium armor, but it turns out that some of the armor within Advent of Ascension actually is craftable. According to the, uh, the book that you spawn with, you can get like the Weaken Helmet, and some of these other items, some of these other things are craftable. I just need to get my hands on the right materials. So I think we might go for that instead. Uh, let's take a look in here. Do I have any more iron? No, no more iron. We can probably fix that, since my armor is pretty much gone. I suppose we better make ourselves some more, just for the time being. There we go. So, let's go ahead and dig into tools. Now, I think the first thing that I'm going to want is a hammer, for sure. So... Let's get ourselves a Sapphire Hammer. Sapphire is probably the best of the early game resources, at least, uh, that you can find in the overworld simply by mining. It's fairly rare, hard to get. Um, I did also do some mining in the live stream as well. You have to mine below level 6. And as I said, guys, if you missed the live stream and you want to see it, uh, there's a link in the video description to the archived stream. So it is there. You can find it and you can watch it if you missed it. Now, the next thing that we want, um, hmm, I'm thinking we'll do, let's do a tough rod out of sapphire as well, like that. And then I'm thinking from there we'll do paper. I'll bet you just about anything that Iguana Tweaks is keeping me from being able to do that. So, um, let's also... I don't, I don't think I want to waste Sapphire on an excavator. Hmm, what should we do for plate patterns then? So it's looking like for straight up durability... My best bet is going to be the blue slime. That or Ardite. Or Manulin. That actually is a pretty good option, too. And I might have just enough Cobalt and Ardite that I can do one Manulin tool rod. 2.5 is really hard to argue with. Because that means if I've got a durability of 2,000 for the hammerhead, that means that basically, by doing this instead, I'll have, what would that be, 4,500 for a durability? A base durability? That's insanely good. So I think we'll go with that. Let's see, parts. Let's see, how big is a tough rod? Three? Okay. That's doable. Let's throw those in there. The hammer's the only tool that I'm really worried about because that's the one that's going to get the most use as I'm doing mining and things like that. So we'll let that smelt up, and I'll be back in a moment. 
All right, guys, I am back, and I have everything I need for the hammer. Now, because of, uh, I'm not sure if it's Tinker's default or if it's uh, Tinker's tweaks, I can go ahead and make this hammer, and then I can modify it later. So that's basically my plan right now. Um, however, I've got this lovely sapphire hammer. It is definitely going to need uh, a modifier on it. I'll be putting the mossy modifier on it uh, basically as quickly as possible. But I really want it to have a uh, Menulin, um, a Menulin uh, tool rod, the handle, the handle. That's what I was thinking of. Drawing a blank there for words for a minute. Unfortunately, that means I have to head into the nether. So we're going to have to... Take a trip into the nether, for better or for worse. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to find a little bit of cobalt and a little bit of ardite. That's, that's all I really need. But the nether is a dangerous place. Now, oh, I should mention as well, I also did make a Tinker's Knapsack on the, uh, the live stream as well. And what's really nice about the Tinker's Knapsack is that if you die, anything that you died with spawn uh basically anything in the knapsack stays with you which is extremely useful so we're going to uh put some of this stuff away and some of it will take with us we're going to make sure that we get a pick that can actually mine ardite and obsidian and i think this limonite pickaxe can do it i'm pretty sure we do have a decent sword, although I'm almost afraid to bring it with. I, I think I'm actually going to put our good sword into there. Because then if I die, I lose a limonite sword, a limonite pick, 27 carrots, and 15 torches, which is, you know, big whoop de doo Not a big deal. So, we're going to head into the nether one more time. And hopefully this will go better than our last excursion. Or it might not. It might not. It really might not. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Get out of here. Whew. We're okay. I think we survived. I think we're okay. All right. Now, I've done a little bit more work in the nether. Nothing fancy. Just basically kind of exploring a tiny bit. And, uh, you know, putting down some torches. Stuff like that. Nothing too fancy. Um, the lions, one of you told me that if you look at the lions, you will teleport to them. So we're just going to try and avoid them for the time being. Wow, that's a long, oh, wow, these guys are all over me. Maybe it wasn't the best time to head into the nether. Let's, let's go the other way. But anyway, looking at the lions causes you to teleport to them, which would explain how I suddenly got teleported to all the way over there. I must have accidentally looked at one. Or uh, or something to that effect, anyway. And that's what got me before. I think what we're going to do is we're going to head down here. Um, maybe right here. Those dogs, they look a lot scarier than they are. Those dogs aren't really much of a threat. What is this? Emberstone. Let's get that. I have a feeling that's something that I will be wanting and wanting a lot of. I mean, I don't know for sure because I have no idea what it's actually used for. But I'm guessing it will come in handy. Is this an aura node? Oh, no, it's a wisp from Thomcraft. And now it's dead. And I really probably should have scanned it before I uh, got rid of it. Just thought of that. Oh, well. Too late now. I suppose we'll get a little quartz while we're here. And it's probably really dark for you guys. I just thought of that. You guys probably can't see a thing. Let me put some torches down. There we go. And I guess now we go this way? What is... I don't know what that is, but I want no part of it. I see cobalt. Can I mine the cobalt? Yes, I can mine the cobalt with this pick. Excellent. So we've got cobalt. Now we just need one ardite. 
and we'll be able to make this uh, tool rod that I want so bad. I'm going to go ahead and put these things away into here, just as I said, that way if I die, I keep them, and I really don't lose anything of value this way. So let's keep looking. We just have to be very, very careful. The nether, I get, the, I kind of get the feeling that the nether itself isn't really all that terrifying in this mod pack, as long as you are careful and you kind of think through things before, maybe not, maybe not, maybe it's, maybe it's not friendly. That thing's dead. I am most certainly on fire. What? what? Okay, we need to go. Oh, we're dead. We are very dead. Those things are mean, man. But our stuff, we still have all of our stuff. So, not really a big, not really a, uh, a game-changing death or anything like that. Nothing that's really going to hurt us too bad. Let's grab some carrots. Let's grab ourselves another sword. Am I? No, I'm not. There we go. I was going to say, I'm not out of those swords, am I? And our, the armor is really the only thing that we could, that we are, uh, that we lost, but it's just iron armor, so it's not that big of a deal. Let's head back into the nether. Hunter level is up to 10, by the way, in case you guys hadn't noticed that. That was also a result, mostly, of the live stream. So, they're down here. Ooh, I hear a ghast. Ghast. Ghast? I... Oh, I see the ghast. Yeah. Do the... Oh, I missed. Missed again. Missed again! Oh! Oh, these things! Ah! The speed on those bows is just insane! Man! Okay. So, time for... A new plan. I think I'm gonna make one more go at it. I'm just gonna take an iron sword with me. Oh, I don't have a limonite pick anymore. That's alright, I do have a diamond one. I hate to take a diamond pick, though. Yeah, I don't think I'm taking a diamond pick. I've got in here the stuff that I need to make another limonite pick. Oh, blood hunt. Um, I don't think I really want to do a blood hunt right now, considering I have no armor. That doesn't sound like a good idea in the slightest. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, one more excursion into the nether. Hopefully we won't get killed by whatever those guys are that have crazy, insane damage output with those bows or whatever they are. Oh, yep, they're still over there. Um, and I suppose that's the direction that I pretty much have to go, isn't it? I bet it is. Yep. Yep. Oh, and these guys too. Yeah, this is not where I want to be right now. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Dead again. Ugh. All right, guys, let me get let me get myself kind of recollected and I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, I am back and I'm heading into the nether for one more go. I have a new toy with me, maybe. It's called the confetti cannon. Basically, it's a gun. And it shoots. Wow, that thing. Did it just go into the portal? I think it went into the portal. Ooh, gassed. I don't know what the range on this thing is like, but uh, either way, either way, for the moment at least, we're not dead yet. Let's grab this stuff real quick while we can. Skeleton Guardian is dead. 
Or at least those one. That one is. That's a horrible noise. That's the gas probably dying. I'm assuming. I'm not sure where I got killed before, though. That's part of my problem. I don't think it was over there. All right, we're going to put some of this stuff away. Um, like that and that. Uh, actually, the cannon I think I'm going to keep out just for now. Yeah, I think that's good. What I need to figure out is where I died earlier that had my main stuff. That's the big problem. It was down... I remember it was kind of almost underground a little bit. Okay, that one's gone, and that was this blue death. So let's remove that. And then we'll look over here. I don't see another unless it was like yeah it was way down there okay so my guess oh there's a death we can get rid of this one 1142 that's that go away and then we had another death somewhere else we're not exactly safe right now, but we're doing... Yeah, it might have been... No, it wasn't down there. Hmm. How did I get there? Let's take half of these carrots and put them in there while they'll be safe. Um, as well as that, and what else from here do I not need? The nether rack. The nether rack I don't need either. I'm trying to go about this intelligently. Keyword there being trying, of course. Little fang doggy things. Oh! Oh! One of those lion things. Lion things, run away. Run away from the lion things. Oh boy. Oh boy. Kill this. Whew. Okay. I think we're safe. I think we're alright. Maybe it was this way. No, I already checked that way. Where is this? Where is it? Where did I... Where did I die? Or how do I get to the spot where I died? That's the real question. Maybe it was... Did I go up and over? Did I like... I think I must have come... Somewhere else. A uh, lion thing? Run away! Run away from the lion. Maybe it was over here? No? No, it definitely wasn't over there. I am lost, guys. Let me see if I can find where I am, and I'll be back in a sec. Alright. Being sneaky. That was some sneaky... Some sneakiness right there. Okay. So there's that. Um... Still don't have my cobalt and stuff, but that's okay. We're all right. I do have some iron armor. So I think I'm okay. I think I'll be all right. Uh, and my hunger's almost full. I think we're, we're going to do a little bit of exploring here. I'm still on a quest for Ardite. Although this stuff, this ember stone, I think that gets used for some really useful things as well. Might even get used for uh, an armor set, which would be great. I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's, let's not, yeah, I don't want to go anywhere near that lava. Um, I guess we'll take a peek down here. This is probably a terrible idea. But we'll put some torches down. See 
the bedrock of the 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 bedrock of the lower nether still no ardite to be found though hmm hmm i don't see any hiding over there either i guess we'll just have to keep looking this is all hollowed out and i i wonder why i wonder if this is a world generation glitch or i don't know that's kind of weird kind of goofy hmm well i don't think we're gonna find anything super useful down here let's see let's work our way out of there all right, guys, I'm going to look around for a bit more, and uh, I'll be back once I find something. All right, guys, I am back, and I finally, finally found what I needed. One piece of Ardite. I feel like I just explored half the nether for this one little item. We did get a bunch of other good stuff, though. We got a ton of this ember store. I think I've got, after I harvest this vein, I'll probably have like 25, 30 ember stone. Uh, which I'm guessing can be smelted and ore doubled, maybe? I don't really know. Either way, we got a pretty solid amount of that. We got some more of these dog's tongues that drop from those. Those are useful for witchery. Um, we might as well explore over here a little bit while we're down here. Since we're here anyway. It doesn't hurt to take a peek, right? Right? You guys are probably screaming at the screen right now. You're like, no, don't do it! You fool! But, who knows? I guess we'll see. A blaze! Okay. Really don't want to tangle with a blaze. <gasps> Another fortress. Okay, duly noted. Time to go. Time to go. We have another fortress. And it's actually not that far from spawn so that is awesome let's quick can we scan this stuff no okay all right we're fine we're okay we just need to make it home just need to make it home in one piece and this bridge that i built last time to get me home i built it back up and i'm using it to run really fast oh run faster Lava. Okay, that's okay. I'm not worried about the lava. Uh, okay. I thought I had, like, a little... Oh, no, this was my safety... That was my other staircase. Where's the one? Here we go. <laughs> Alright, this should take me back to my portal. And home. Now, I think we had one of those archer guys go through the portal? So, we might just start getting shot at? Yeah, he's right here. But we got him. He's dead. So, I think we're actually in pretty good shape after that one. Ooh, and we got a new thing. We got an ember staff. That's a mob drop. That's really... Requires fire runes. Okay. Oh, extinguishes fire on use. Okay. Either way, we've got our Ardite, and we've got our Cobalt, so we can now make the tool rod for our hammer that I've been wanting for basically a while now. Let's go ahead and put those in there, and I'll be back once they're done smelting. All right, guys, I am back, and I have good news and bad news. The bad news is I'm still a little bit of Mignolan short. Uh, I need, I forgot that a tough rod is three ingots to make it, and uh, one block of cobalt and one block of manulin only makes two ingots. The good news is that I do have enough between the jade ore that I already had and this ember stone that we just found. I do have enough to make some pretty fancy armor. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're just going to make the full set, which will then make me immune 
to the Wither Effect, which is... That's not a bad set bonus, honestly. There's some pretty nasty enemies, uh, even in, especially in the Nether, that have that. And on top of that, it has armor equivalency to diamond, and I'm pretty sure the durability is a lot better as well. So let's take a look. I look pretty awesome, I do, if I do say so myself. Let's take out that cutlass. Yeah, looking good. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode right here. We got quite a lot done. And uh, between episodes, I think I'm going to do some more resource gathering, try and get my hands on some uh, some more Ardite and Cobalt so that I can uh, get that hammer going. But, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps up my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. Well, let's do it oh, for the team. Oh, I'm trapped in a corner. Oh, no. They're far enough away so I can hit them. <laughs> Except now they're rushing at you. Wells. Wells. No. I will never retreat. I will never surrender. I hurt them.